Hey guys, last video I did, I was uh, talking about machining this R8 collar adapter in, the, in my knee mill. You see it here, I'm showing you a picture of it. You see from, well let me blow this up a little. See this dimension? Six, wow, see that .170 from, from the edge of that hole to the cutting line, it's .170. From the cutting line down, there's five-eighths of an inch. That's a whole lot of stuff, and I was going to put a tool bit in a vise and face it off, which I'm still going to do, but I started thinking, hey, wait a minute, man, that's case-hardened. Uh, it ain't going to be a piece of cake. I may have to sharpen a tool bit quite a few times to establish this 170 and measure it. going to be a pain in the ass. So let me tell you what I come up with, all right? Let's go back to the beginning and I'll start catching them dots. See this purple hole here? Well, well let me see. See where the mouse is? That purple hole there? That's a tap drilled hole for the set screw. The, the set screw you see here, all right? It's a tap drill hole. I measured it with a, with a digital caliper. It measured 0.571, all right? I did all the calculations from it, you know, which you saw me do, right? The key to all of this is that point one seventy dimension? Let me blow it up again. See that point one seventy dimension from the tap drill hole to the cutting line. That's what that's all about. That's key to all of this. Put a pin in it. All right. So I think about well, how am I going to measure that? You know, with the two bit and the vice and the dig, I'll be standing on my fucking head. I come up with this idea. I'm gonna turn a pin. Well, I gotta blow it up again. What an asshole. That 571 is the chap drill size. I'll turn the pin up. 571. It's got to be within a couple of thousands. I'll fit it in the lathe. All right. To get to a 170, see the 170 here? From the OD to that diameter, that OD has to be 911, all right? And I'm showing the lengths here, all right? So let me go back. I'm on a stupid bastard. All right. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to uh, put the, this facing pin, I call it, in the tap drill hole and come up and touch it with my tool bit and I'll be 170 away where I want to be, all right? Let me give you a, a little, a little uh, show and tell, all right? Obviously, this is going to be in the vise. And I'm going to take this, you know, I, this is going to be bi-directional. I can turn this or face this way or that way, whatever, until I get to that line. You see it? How am I going to know when I'm at that line? I'm going to show you. Over here, I turned that, call it 90 degrees, and I made the tap, the, the tap drill hole right here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta make it big again. I, I, uh, the hell's the matter with me?
you see? That, I don't show this right, but that diameter is going to fit that tap drill hole, and then I'm going to come up with my knee and touch the tool. When the tool bit touches this, that's pay dirt. Are you digging it? Huh? Let me get, let me go back. Here's it. I'm gonna show the tool bit here. I'll just run through the exercise. You see this red line here? I'm showing, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna finish at the, at, at the cut line. You see it right there? I'm gonna finish right there and I'll be at the 170. Does that make any sense? I don't know. We'll call this the addendum. Doesn't that sound really fucking exciting? But that's my plan. I just figured I'd lay it on you because, uh, you know, I had a hard time dealing. I had a hard time coming up with that little pacing pin, you know? But anyways, That'll work good, all right? Hang in there. All right, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. Comment if you got the time, all right? I'll catch you later.